I tried making the creamy pasta mushroom dish from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Yahoo! But I'm gonna try making it without a recipe and just what I see in the film. What? That does not look the same to me. The only problem is, this movie doesn't have a scene where the dish is actually made. There's a whole set of noodles that I don't even, I'm not prepared for this. So there's no way for me to know what ingredients to use or how to make it. Probably cook with the oil first to get those mushrooms, not caramelized, what's the word? Where it's like cooked down and seared. So will I be able to do it? Da 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 da. Duh. I started by watching the scene from the film and puzzling together what ingredients I'm gonna need. That doesn't look like linguine pasta, so we're gonna do basic spaghetti. The first challenge I faced was choosing the right kind of pasta. Oh, it's not a spaghetti because it's flat. It's not flat. I feel like those are flat noodles. Is it linguine? There's linguine, there's also capellini, which looks to be kind of like a flat noodle, fettuccine, yeah. spaghetti. I'm not prepared for this. This is like way beyond my pay grade. But I had to rely on my instincts for this one. So I settled with linguine for this video. With that in hand, let's get cooking. The first thing of note in this dish is obviously the mushrooms. In the movie, I was noticing some speckles of green in the dish. I was trying to figure out what that could be. Basil or parsley? But I ended up settling on parsley. And of course, gotta have that garlic, fresh garlic. So now that everything's all prepped, I started boiling the pasta. I get one shot of this and then it all flies everywhere. Uh, sorta. For the sauce, I have minimal experience making this. I have no talent at all. In fact, the best example I can compare this dish to is like what a carbonara would look like, minus the bacon, but instead mixed with mushrooms. I know it's not quite the same, but I feel like the technique is similar. So when choosing the cheese, I wanted to find something rich that would taste good while melty, which is why I went for a Parmesan. The rest of it, I'm still a little unsure of. I'll come back to this. But when I went to saute the mushrooms, guess I should have expected they were gonna stick to the pan? Yikes, this is a... Uh... Whoops, but I had an idea. I'm gonna try something out. I thought about taking the pasta water from the noodles and pouring a little bit to help with the mushroom saute. And surprisingly, that did the trick. Oh, that's much better. That works. These started looking quite creamy. Honestly, I feel like this is the best I've ever made mushrooms. Oh yeah, that's way better. It's a perfect. Now back to this complicated, not so complicated cream sauce. There's probably a lot of thoughts on this one, but I don't know if I was supposed to have cleaned out this pan before using it again. Regardless, I didn't. So here I am getting all of our cheese up in there and making sure this comes together. Ooh, that's really good. Put the noodles and the mushrooms into the cream sauce. My gummy noodles. Oh my God. Ah, this is kind of like a fettuccine Alfredo, except without the Alfredo sauce, which I guess would just be fettuccine. It's not fettuccine. What you have in there is linguine. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously season it, and this is looking absolutely amazing. Oh my God, Mario lovers, we made it happen. We did it. And shot, and shot, glamour pose, and slay. That's really good. Wow. Recreating this mushroom pasta dish turned out to be a delightful adventure. While this movie may not have provided a step-by-step -step guide, I couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment from it. Mario may not have been a fan of mushrooms, but let me tell you, this recipe I'll be recreating for weeks.